Hi everyone, so I'm back with a military wife vlog and it's been forever. So I just wanna say hello and give you an update as to what's been going on. So um, I wanna do a mini haul too because I, it's been sitting in my room and I just wanna show you, but Bath & Body Works was having a sale a couple weeks ago. They're probably still having the sale, but it was basically buy three products or yeah, buy three, get two free. Same with the lip gloss, it was buy two, get one free. So I picked up my favorite scent, which is brown sugar and fig. I just love this. It's one of their scents from the Signature Collection. So it doesn't come out like all year round. It's just at a certain time. And I think it's during the fall. And I also picked up this new scent called Cashmere Glow. And it's so pretty. It's like a very sexy, sensual smell. And it's kind of strong, but I, I like strong scents. And so I ended up getting two other lotions. Uh, the cashmere glow and the brown sugar and fig lotion and I didn't know that they had a men's collection so Chris ended up picking up this dark amber for men and it's a lotion and it smells so good so um, eventually I'll probably end up getting him the cologne um, because they smell really great and they're only like $29.50 which is way better than a $60 bottle so anyway uh, moving on to lip gloss. I ended up getting three lip glosses. I've never tried any of their lip glosses. So this is the first time. I ended up getting the menthol uh, lip gloss. And it's a little bit tinted, very glittery. Um, and it makes your lips tingle because of the, me the menthol or the mint that's in there. But I love it. It's so wintry. And then um, cookies and cream. And that's what I'm wearing now. And I like it because it's so shiny. It smells like cookies and cream. It doesn't taste nasty. And... I mean, it's a little sticky, but eh, I like it. And I ended up getting the Strawberry Cosmo, and it's so glittery, and this will make your lips shine like crazy. I tried them out at the store, so anyway, that was a mini Bath & Body Works haul. Um, I ended up finishing the Fifty Shades Freed book, so I'm finished with the series, and I'm kind of sad because, I don't know, for those of you who read books and you have some special connection to the characters, and the book ends, doesn't it feel like your friendship ends? Like you just, it's just the end of it. And I don't know, so I'm kind of sad. Uh, hopefully they'll make more. Uh, Chris had mentioned that they have some hidden chapter books out there for like $9.99. So I don't know, I'll have to go check that out and let you know. But anyway, so my hair looks like this because we are getting ready to go to the ball today. And I've been trying out hairstyles and our ball is in about four hours and my really good friends are going to come over and watch the boys so I'm really excited about that so I'm going to make them dinner tonight and then they'll hang out with the boys until we get back from the ball but um we're going to be blogging Chris has his new camera so he's been blogging every day so if you haven't already please go check out uh Thrill Beats 21 that's his channel and he does updates uh vlogging about being in the military police and stuff like that so definitely go check him out um, this week I had a couple appointments. I went to the doctor and I also went to the eye doctor and I don't know, I think it's, Chris is just preparing me for him to go. So he wants to make sure I'm okay, which is a good thing. So I ended up getting a new pair of glasses because I had such an issue with the glasses that I ordered from Zenny Optical. I did a review on them and I thought that the dizziness would go away and it never did and come to find out my prescription was too strong on my glasses. So um, I got it reduced and now I'm getting a new pair from Walmart. So um, if you haven't been to Walmart, for those of you who have TRICARE, you only have a copay of $30 and then you can get your prescription for your glasses and your contacts. That could be different in different areas, but that's what we paid and then I had to pay full price for my glasses and my contacts. So. Um, yeah, so that's what happened yesterday, and I did go to the doctor, um, basically just to check out how my thyroid was doing. I have a thyroid condition, and so it's just something that I've had to deal with since I was born. Um, so it's nothing uh, out of the ordinary, but they are going to send me to a specialist if I can get in. And that's the problem with um, getting into a military hospital or a clinic or a specialist there's a long waiting line. So you pretty much have to put, be put on a list in order to get in to see specialists and stuff like that. I will also be doing an update pretty soon on Tupler. And I know um, some of you were following my Tupler technique and um, I found out that I pretty much have to go 
um, and check out general surgery or a plastic surgeon just to see if that is the only way I'll be able to correct it because I've been doing Tupler since February and I don't see, I mean, I did lose inches, but not significant amount. So um, yeah, so that's a different journey that I'm on. Um, what else? If you do have questions about my Tupler technique and what I'm talking about, I do have videos on that. Um, I did like my coming out story on my tummy and stuff like that. So yeah, so that's pretty much all in a nutshell. So yeah, so today is the ball and I am very excited because I, I want to say this is our third one. Um, but originally, if you watched my haul video, my thrift haul video, I had a dress on there that I'd picked out or that I had gotten at a yard sale for like $4 and it's like a really pretty blue. Well, I tried it on yesterday. It didn't fit me. I gained a few pounds since then. And so I was really, I was kind of upset, but I think what I'm going to do is wear, well, I am going to wear the one that I wore last year. Um, overseas now I didn't get that much wear out of it and so um I don't know hopefully nobody will notice but that's my confession I'll be wearing that dress because it fits me better and yeah I'm just gonna be styling my hair different and I got different makeup and I did my nails as well myself this is what they look like um just a black French tip using wet and wilds nail polish that I just showed you and then a black and then I used a q-tip to paint these little specks like a sponge paint on my nail so that's what they look like my my um feet or my toes are the same exact way and so yeah um i love playing with nail polish and just creating designs and that's just something that i don't really share with a lot of people but i used to do it a lot growing up is just design my nails and stuff i'm surprised i didn't get into that as i got older but yeah it's slowly coming back so that's what i'm doing um and yeah this is pretty much gonna be my makeup um it's gonna be like pin up and then i'm gonna have a red lip instead of this lip gloss um yeah so i'm gonna be showing you bits and pieces of the ball and i'll do a separate video for that and if you have any questions about the ball or you have questions um just any questions about it definitely leave it down below in this video and i'll include the answers in the next video um ball related questions how it is what it's like if whatever so uh yeah i'm gonna be posting pictures on that video um after we go obviously we haven't went yet but anyways so that's pretty much in a nutshell what has been going on um chris again has been preparing to leave and so i think last week he had to go shopping for all of his hygiene stuff in order for it to get packed and shipped overseas and so yeah it's coming up pretty quick but uh we're just trying not to think about it tuesday is my birthday um i don't really talk about my birthday that much today's my nephew's birthday and my parents job anniversary uh i guess anniversary <laughs> so they've been working at the same job for 40 years now and that's a long time and i'm not trying to say that they're old but they're very dedicated and so i just want to say happy job anniversary to my parents um 40 years that's a long time and then they'll be going on 39 years married at the end of this year so i'm pretty excited about that hopefully one day i'll be there um but yeah so um to cut this right now because it's like eight minutes and 50 seconds i just want to say thank you so much um for supporting my channel for all of my new subscribers thank you so much for joining and um being here and my old subscribers too i don't like to call it subscribers i just want to say friends thank you so much for being here um if you haven't already please check out my facebook group page that i co-admin with Lindsay from xo love Lindsay at more than a military spouse and on facebook it's a group it's a closed group but I love it um, we're pretty positive on there hardly any drama um, and if there is then I usually check it out and if it oversteps any boundaries I'll take it off the page so yeah um, go check it out I'd really appreciate it so thank you again and I will talk to you on the next video bye